let us recall the definition of a ring. So a ring is an algebraic structure with the elements that we call R and we have two operations, one that we call addition and one that we call multiplication. This algebraic structure is a ring if the following criteria are fulfilled. So for addition, we need to have commutativity, associativity, we need to have the additive zero, we need to have the additive inverse. And for multiplication, we also need it to be associative, we need to have the identity element, and we need to have the distributive loss fulfilled as the combination of the addition and multiplication operations. We will now define a special type of ring that is a Boolean ring. And in order to define a Boolean ring, we will first define the property of an element being idempotent. So the definition here is that an element A in our ring with the addition and multiplication operations is idempotent if the square of the element is the element itself. And using this we can define a Boolean ring. So a Boolean ring is a ring where all our elements are idempotent. So let us look at an example. So we have the ring that we have seen previously that we call Z6, where the addition operation is defined as addition modulo 6, and the multiplication operation is defined as multiplication modulo 6. Now this is not a Boolean ring. And why is it not a Boolean ring? Well, we can look at the multiplication operation here, and we can see that if we look element by element, so 0 is idempotent because 0 times 0 is 0, 1 is idempotent because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 however is not idempotent because 2 times 2 is not 2, it is 4. So here 2 is not an idempotent element. 3 times 3, this is idempotent because that equals 3, 4 times 4, this is also idempotent because it equals 4, but 5 times 5 is not 5, it is 1 in this case, because one because 5 times 5 modulo 6 is 1. So this element is also not idempotent. But what we do now is that let us take all the idempotent elements in this ring that we call uh, with the elements in Z6, these are the elements 0, 1, 3, and 4. So it is 0, that was idempotent. 1, 3, and 4. So these are the idempotent elements in this ring. And now we take only these elements here and we use them. And then now we redefine addition such that addition in our ring is A plus B plus 4 times A times B. And this here will be written as addition and multiplication module 6. So this here now is our operation in the ring, while this is how we are computing the values in the ring. For the multiplication, we're going to use what we had basically before. So a times b will be a times b, and in this case, modulo 6, because we are in z6. Now, if we define our ring in this way, so we have the elements that we call b, we have our addition multiplication that we have find, defined in this way, and we have our multiplication operation that we have defined in this way. Now we can write the tables for addition and multiplication and we can do it in this way and if we start by looking at the multiplication operation we see that our 0 is idempotent, our 1 is idempotent, our 3 is idempotent and also our element 4 is idempotent here. And for our addition multiplication that we defined in this way we get the table that we have here on the left hand side. So let us just take one example of how we can compute this table. So we have here 4 plus 1 equals 3. So how did we compute this? Well, we have 4 plus 1. This is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 4. And here we have times and in brackets 4 times 1. 
and then we compute this modulo 6. And this will now be equal to 5, because 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 4 times 4, module 6, which in turn is equal to 5 plus 16, module 6, which equals to 21, module 6. And when we take 21 divided by 6 and we take the rest, this will be equal to 3 module 6. So we have here that A plus B in our Boolean ring will be equal to 4 plus 1, which equals to 3. Which is exactly what we have here in our addition table. And you can do the rest yourself and see that in the addition table we will get exactly these numbers if we use our definition of addition. You can also verify that this fulfills the definition of a Boolean ring.